whenever you're going to do a lipstick or a lip color, you always want to start off with the same thing. A really moisturizing lip balm. I'm using this one. It's all natural. And it's 100% natural. And it's from Lip Smackers. And it has olive oil and beeswax. Beeswax is a really good ingredient for them. So you just put it on. Just like that and you're done. So it takes like two seconds. And then you get started. For this look one, you're going to start off with, you can use a red also or any color. I'm using a deep purple. This is a lipstick by CoverGirl and it's an embrace in 335. So just cover your whole lip with it. Just like this. It'll go on really smooth. To avoid breakage, make sure not to pull it out all the way like this. To just have it a little so it's barely touchy. And then take a gold eyeshadow. I'm using this one from the LA Colors Eyeshadow Palette in Sandcastles. You just take a regular brush and get the gold. Make sure you really get it a lot and just put it on the inside of your lips like this. Once you're done with the gold, all you have to do is just touch up with this at the bottom. You can use a lip brush too, but I prefer to use this because it has a pointy tip. So You're done with this lip, see? It's gold and purple. Okay, for this lip, I call it the sugar lip, and I'm using a really nice light Revlon lipstick, and it's in pink pout, and it's 002. I don't know if they still have this because I don't see any with the gray anymore. They might have the same color, but they I think they renamed it because now all of them look like this instead of this. So you do the same thing you did with the last one, just cover your lips with it. Then after, add a goopy, well not goopy, but sticky um, clear lip gloss. This one's from Kirkland from Costco. So what you do is you squirt it out. I'm sure you know how to put lip gloss on. Just goop it on. So after you put it on, your lips should look really glossy. And I put some sugar. I'm actually using real sugar. And all I did was put it in like a little art tray. And you just get it on your finger and dab it on. Smile while you do it so you stretch your lips out. So then when you're done, you just close your mouth, and so they're all like this. They look very jeweled. And stuff, and they taste good. You can lick your lips. Well, don't lick your lips, because that'll take it off, but that's basically it. This would be a really good look if you're, like, for Halloween. If you're going as, like, the Sugar Plum Fairy, or even a fairy, Ice Princess, or anything like that. Because this could look like ice. And frost for this one it's more like a vampy look like vampire-ish look it's blackened so it's more like a vampy look so you start off with a deep red lipstick like this one for, this one's from Mary Kay in red and you should put it all over when you wear extreme lips like this you need to make sure that your eye makeup is really simple. And then you want to take a black lipstick. I got this one from Costume Castle because I can't really find black lipstick at like the regular drugstore or makeup shop. So you just put this in the middle like this. Kind of like what we did with the gold but with black. You can stretch your lip out a little. And then, and then take a red lipstick, I mean lip gloss like a really pigmented one and just put it on the red part not the black part so now you're done with this like red vampy looking lip you could wear this with 
Well, if you're going for the vampire look, I would suggest like a deep maroon red and then put a black over it. So the maroon red is like an undertone. Kind of like the lips. This is it. Very dramatic. For this one, this is kind of like a pink cheetah print, which I really like it. It's kind of more advanced, but it's actually a lot more simple than it looks, though. So you start off with a pink fuchsia color. This one's from Revlon in fuchsia, and it's 657. So it looks like this. It's really pretty. It's very Barbie-ish. So you should put this all over your lips, like this. You stole that. So now that you have the pink fuchsia on your lips, you can either take a black eyeliner, gel or water, or you can take a black lipstick. So you just roll it up. Same thing with the vampire one. You can use a black eyeliner for that also. Like for the first one, how I used a gold eyeshadow. So you just take it like a smudge brush and put it on there, get it all over, and just start doing a cheetah print. You should look at a picture of cheetah print for reference. I'm going to start doing the shape on. Draw the shape on. And just keep doing shapes. So then you're done with the cheetah lips, see? Kind of like a cheetah print on there. So I hope you like this one. So these last lips I like to call the Queen of Hearts lips because they're like a heart. So all you do, you can use a pink or a red. I'm using a red, that's why I call them the Queen of Hearts. But you could also use like a deep pink, like a, pure, a pretty one like this. This is Rimmel London in Pink Chick 220. So you could use that or a darker fuchsia. But I'm using a red. You can even use a black if you want, if you want to do like a dark one. So you just get this. Make sure that it's... And just take a smudge brush or a lip brush. 
and just get it on there and draw on the heart. And then create the point, a little other. Then when you're done, you can put a red lip gloss on. Can we shine? I got this idea to do the heart lips from, well actually from, obviously from the Queen of Hearts. Because when I did Alice in Wonderland Jr., I played the Queen of Hearts and I'll insert a picture now. So I had a lot of fun playing her. It was really hard to be mean because like they were my friends that were playing the other characters and I had to yell at them and be like, off with your head. And then my friend Ailey was Alice. So that was probably the biggest challenge, but I had so much fun doing it. So that's where I got the inspiration for these lips. Cause I actually did them for the plays. So I really hope you enjoyed the lips I showed you today. I worked really hard on them and I had a lot of fun doing them and creating them. Like makeup is seriously like my number one thing that I love to do. And I know the, your lips can say a lot and that's kind of why I did this. And I mean some of these you probably wouldn't wear out on a normal day. But like just for like a part, Halloween party or maybe even a concert like an Avril Lavigne concert or Pink or someone would be really cool and I had like I said I had so much fun making them and I hope you try them out if you do definitely send a picture of them and um, send it to me on Facebook or Twitter my Twitter is the same name as my YouTube account Maddie is amazing M-A-D-Y-I-S-A-M-A-Z-I-N-G and check out my clothing line at maddiesigns.spreadshirt.com I'll put the link in the description and thank you for watching. Bye.